Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out today's video. Today's video is an empties video. My basket is looking sad. It is not that full as it usually is. You know what's crazy is February is only two days shorter than like a normal month. So everybody's like, it's a short month, it's a short month. But like two days is really not that much, but it feels like it's two weeks shorter than, than a normal month. But it's not, it's like two days. So we're gonna do the empties. Starting off, Butter Cookie Crunch from Homeworks. This is decadent and delicious. Tahitian vanilla, brown sugar, praline, and shortbread. This is in his three wick format, which are 14 ounces. And I actually liked it. I thought it did great. Um, at the beginning, so in my last one I melted, it was not strong, but it really started to pick up like around here. Also, it looks horribly dirty. I think this glass just emphasizes every little bit of anything on here. Like the wax residue looks horrid, but it's really not that bad. Um, yeah, there's like a little, but it's like not coming off. It's not, I don't know. It's just, it was a little dirty, like from wick trimmings and stuff like that. But it burned all the way down. It did so great. I, I thought this was really lovely. Um, great vanilla scent, kind of rich, kind of buttery, a little like there's the brown sugar in here and that shortbread is just so stinking good. Love this. Really enjoyed it. So it wasn't strong at the beginning, but it definitely picked up around this mark here. So I cannot complain because it burned all the way down and it did great. I never had any issues, didn't have puny wicks. Wicks did not shift. I mean, you can see that those bad boys stayed right there and it was awesome. So this, I think I've burned maybe one other three wick from him. I can't remember, but this one was a winner. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sugared pomegranate from Bath and Body Works in a single wick. This one was delicious and so strong. Super fruity, super bubbly. Oh man, this is so good. I really enjoy it. I know they've come out with three wicks of this, but a one wick did just fine because it was literally so, so, so strong. Loved the packaging. It did fabulous. I have two, where's your sister here? There it is. Two of the Marshmallow Fireside, where the heck is the label? <laughs> two of Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. I love the gray packaging. This one is from 2020, so last year, 2022. It's toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. I mean, if you know, you know what Marshmallow Fireside smells like. It's just, it's a, a favorite. It's, you know, a classic. They did fine. They had a little bit of puny wick problems, but I just let them go. Didn't even care. I was like, you'll fix yourself eventually. And they did. So they did burn slow, but they wound up finishing the job just fine. So yeah, this is great. Super strong. I really enjoyed them. Marshmallow Fireside for the win. Then we have Unicorn Sprinkles, also from Bath and Body Works. This is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon. I got this on Kindle Day of, I guess, last year. You know, the one that was a couple months ago. She got a little dirty. She got a little grody. Not gonna lie. But smelled incredible. Really, really strong. Beautiful candy with like a hint of a lemon. Very similar to Pink Fairy Gum Drop, but a little different. A smidge different. This one, like I said, has that more of a the lemon note to it a little bit brighter citrus note still amazing i i really really enjoyed this one i thought the packaging was so cute i just i loved it i loved it a lot kind of only bummed i had one but i have a feeling that they will bring this back eventually they claim it's in like the vault they brought this out of the vault for candle day but i feel like i feel like this isn't you know that vaulty it's brought it's been brought back a couple of times so I have a feeling we will see it. We will see it again. From Mainstays, I have Crispy Treats. This is a Walmart candle. These are 11 and a half ounces and it is Lemon Marshmallow Cereal Accord. These burn beautifully for me, always. I have never had one problem with this and they put so much dang glue on the bottom of these jars that your wicks are staying put. Let me tell you, like they are staying put. So the burn, not a problem at all. I just, I couldn't smell this one. Even now there's really not much to it. it on cold, it was beautiful. It smelled like Fruit Loops with some marshmallow, kind of really what you see in that picture here, like a Rice Krispie Treat made with Fruit Loops or 
What do you call Fruity Pebbles, not Fruit Loops. But burning, I didn't really get anything. Literally nothing. So this one would not be a repurchase, but these are so cheap. I don't mind picking them up to try them. If it's a dud, it's a dud. It's not that big of a deal to me personally, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you don't want to purchase it, don't purchase it. PB&J from Bath & Body Works. Now this, this is vault. This is vault worthy to me. This is fresh strawberry jam, toasted bread, crunchy peanut butter, and a drizzle of honey. Ah, oh, the OG PB&J. This is from 2019 and she is still as delicious as ever. Oh, she's a little smoky now, but I still, I get the vibes. Man, oh man, PB&J, just the, the best, like, different scent that they've given us it's not your typical gourmand it is so good you got a little hint of that crunchy peanut butter with a hint of the honey and then the hint of the strawberry and it be, be just blends beautifully to give you this incredible incredible gourmand candle and i just i loved it loved it i have a couple more and i will cherish them i burn one a year because I feel like that's not, that's not hoarding. I'm not refusing to burn them. I'm just burning one a year. <laughs> and, and I love every second of it. It was so strong, literally so strong. I have no fear that this will remain strong at least for a little bit, like a couple more years before it starts to go bad because this, whoo, I had it in the bedroom and it was just filling every area out. <laughs> like every other area, it's filling them all. So that was really good. I enjoyed that. Mint Chip Shake from Bath & Body Works. This is a Bath & Body Works heavy month, I didn't even realize. Dark chocolate chunks, icy peppermint, decadently smooth ice cream. This one was like more chocolatey than I remember, but still not bad. It was just a, it's like a nice mint, a very creamy mint with some chocolate. I think they brought this back as Mint Chip Shake. Um, no, this is Mint Chip Shake. Chocolate Chip mil Milkshake, Chocolate Chip Milkshake. Mint chocolate chip milkshake. I They brought it. It was green. I think I have one. It's beautiful. I love the packaging, but I think they're basically the same. But this is from 20, 2019. I believe this one's from. Yeah, but it's good. A minty chocolatey scent. I, I think I, like I just feel like my nose is changing. So that's why I pick up more chocolate, but still a very creamy, delectable scent. Very nice. I like that one. And then, is this the last candle? This is the last candle. We have Blueberry Muffin from Kringle. Look at how wonky this bottom is. This has happened to me with a bunch of Kringles. Like, whatever they do in production, the foot, the, the like, feet here is never even. So this side has more wax than this side. I don't know how they do that, but, like, the glass is just uneven. It doesn't do anything other than look funny. But I just think it's hysterical that this has happened to me a bunch of times. <laughs> that I've had a Kringle with, like, a wonky glass foot. So this is the 14 and a half ounce medium jar from Kringle. I really like these medium jars. Now for value, the large jar is way better. You get way more wax for just like a little bit more money, especially when they do sales and stuff. But these just burn a little quicker. Those large jars last forever. So I really do like the medium jars um, because they're they're quicker to get through. So it looks like I have a bunch of wax here, but that's because that's the wonky footing. That's kind of really a better accurate description of how much wax is left. And I wanted to love this. I really did because I, I enjoy Kringle, but this, it didn't smell like blueberry muffin to me. This does not smell like blueberry muffin. On cold it did, but now that it's warmed and it's melted, it is not blueberry at all. It is like this very odd... Okay, maybe there is blueberry in there, but it is not a good blueberry. It's like in a very odd, yeasty, stale, like old blueberry scent. This is a fan favorite. So people really, really enjoy it. And I actually liked it on cold. I only didn't like it when it was lit. So I don't know. Maybe there's just an oil in here that I don't vibe with. But yeah, this is a fan favorite. It just wasn't a fan favorite of mine, unfortunately. So yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not. It's not my fave, it's not my favorite. So, but his label is beautiful. Burn was literally stunning in perfection as always. So I still purchase Kringle, I still love you. Just didn't like that one. 
I have a Febreze Air in the Tide scent. This is literally so old because they discontinued this, but this is my most favorite Febreze scent ever. Oh my God, I feel like I just wanna try, but there's nothing left. There's nothing, nothing. Um, this is literally the best. It smelled so stinking good. And of course they discontinue it because everything I like goes away. So that's how it is around here. All right, I have a bunch of wax, but not in any particular order. So we're just gonna grab and go. Vanilla bean buttercream from Nana Makes Sense. This is fine, not, nothing crazy. Beauty and the Beast from Super Tarts. Zucchini bread from Barrett's Wax Crafts. Luxor linens from Nene's Kitchen Melts. This one was really good, actually. I, I really enjoyed this one. Her little, her laundry does so well, man. Man, this is beautiful, beautiful laundry. This is like a bougie, clean, like hotel linen scent. Like it is like a fan, like the fanciest hotel that you will never probably be able to afford. Like I will never be able to afford it. But man, is it good. Oh wow, Luxor linen. This was this was phenomenal. I would absolutely repurchase that. Sassy Girl Aroma Candy Crush Fruit Spun Sugar Hints of Caramel with bottom notes of super sweet vanilla. I wound up dumping the trunk bag into an empty candle jar and put it in my candle crock and it lasted like, I don't know, three days or something like that. That's what I'm doing with all of these because I just don't purchase Sassy Girl anymore, just not for me. And these are old, this one's from 2019. So we're just moving them out. And also they're, the bags are starting to come unglued because that's how old they are. So it's time to go, you gotta go. Satsuma from K's was good. Blueberry pudding from Nana's Makes Sense. Sugared shortbread buttercream frosting Hufflepuff from L3. Most of these are samples because I, I was finishing up my sample journey of, of using them all up. Avocado and sea salt from Nene's Kitchen Melts. This one, I don't, I don't remember, but it has a dog hair stuck to the label, so that's cool. Um, I think this was good. I don't really, let me see. Oh yeah, this is good. It's like a very nice creamy green scent without being grassy, if that makes sense, which is like a little bit of sea salt. This one was good. I enjoyed avocado and sea salt. Wood sage and sea salt from K's. Bourbon sauce from Sassy Girl. Trickin' and Treatin' from Teddy Bees. Creamy nutmeg from Sassy Girl. Mountain Farm from Nana Makes Sense. Most of these were like not spectacular. That's why I'm just breezing through them. They're just little samples that I use to get rid of. The Little Mermaid from Nana Makes Sense. Fake and Bake from Super Tarts. Salty Sea Air Ozone Fraser Fur from L3. Cotton Candy Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. This was from her um, Clothes on the Line sampler. It comes with like two chunks. This is you know I love clothes on the line. If you've watched like any video of mine, <laughs> you know that I love clothes on the line. And then added with that cotton candy. Oh, praise. My God, is it so good. It's like a sweet little laundry. Oh my God. Your girl loves this, loves this. Stellar performer. And I, I think the cotton candy just, it's so good. This might be, besides Coastal, Coastal Kale clothes on the line. This one might be my favorite blend that she does with that because it is, it's top notch. Downy Clouds from Heaven Sent by Becca Marie. She's not in business anymore, so I just got to use these up because you can't purchase her from, you can't purchase from her anymore. Marshmallow and Magnolias from Teddy Bees. And then all I have left is some. It's like a wallflower tag in cotton candy champagne. I had this going with the sugared pomegranate one wick. This is bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. This one was good. And then the last thing that I have to share is like a Scentsy car bar. This was in pink cotton and oh my god, this was so good. This has a little bit of fragrance left to it, but it's not enough to scent the car. But this was so good. I literally had this in there for probably about a month. Yeah, probably about four weeks. And it was it was incredible. It was so good. I, I think it's the scent has something to do with it because this is a laundry scent. But it's like a sweet, slightly berry laundry scent. Man, is this amazing. 
These do really well with the air on or the heat on, like something blowing through the vents because I have one in there now that's not nearly as strong as this one without the air going. So definitely this, if they ever brought back this one, I would buy like a million of this pink cotton because it, it was so good. Without the air vents, with the air vents, doesn't really matter. It was good. So I can't stop smelling it because I really enjoyed this scent. <laughs> yeah, loved, 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 loved it. And that is it for my February empties. My basket didn't feel heavy, but I feel like I did pretty good still. Let me know down below how your month of burning melting went. Let me know what your, your themes are moving forward. Do you do like a green theme for St. Patrick's Day? Are we warm weather? Are we feeling spring and summer? Let a girl know. I would love to chat with you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.